Hi, my name is Emma Fushimi. Alongside my colleague Eric Zussman, we welcome you to this training course on building resilience to compound and cascading disaster risks. Eric and I will walk you through this course that is based on recent studies, voices from leading experts at local, national and international levels, as well as lessons from recent disasters involving compound or cascading hazards. In this course, we will learn the measures that resilient communities are successfully applying to prepare, respond and recover when hazards strike at the same time or one after another. We will guide you step by step with what you need to do so you can implement disaster risk management and deal with these compound and cascading disaster risks. So, why is knowledge of compound and cascading disaster risks so important in the present and the future? Because disasters are increasing in size and frequency every year, more and more communities must deal with several disasters simultaneously. These connected disasters can escalate and cause humanitarian crises and widespread disruptions to our interconnected regional and global economies. The COVID-19 pandemic has made it very clear how difficult it is for communities already having trouble responding to this biological disaster to face other disasters simultaneously. Asia, for instance, has experienced numerous significant disasters during the COVID-19 pandemic. There have been major floods in China, Kazakhstan, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Iran and Nepal. At the same time, large cyclones have affected the Philippines, Vietnam, Bangladesh and India. For example, in July 2020, the southern prefectures of Japan already dealing with COVID-19, experienced record-breaking heavy rain, which caused devastating floods and landslides in many areas. Since the floods and landslides happened during COVID-19, the evacuation and recovery process were more challenging and complex, and the disaster resulted in 83 casualties. The UN Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific has gone so far as to say that a hazard-by-hazard -hazard approach to disaster risk management is no longer viable. The globally agreed Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction puts a particular emphasis on multi-hazard response. That is why it is so important to expand your knowledge of single hazard risk management and learn how to deal with compound and cascading disasters. Before we go into guiding you step by step on how to strengthen the resilience of your community, this video will give you an overview of the lessons that this course will cover and how these lessons all come together to help your community to withstand compound and cascading disaster risks. The Building Resilience to Compound and Cascading Disaster Risks course is organized into four chronological video lessons covering all the basic steps needed to strengthen resilience against compound and cascading disaster risks. We strongly recommend that you go over the video lessons of the course in chronological order. So, the first part will start by briefly reviewing the essential concepts of disaster risk management, like hazard, risk, vulnerabilities and exposure. Following that, the course will introduce the concept and characteristics of compound and cascading disaster risks. In the second part, we will go on to assess the risks of your community to compound and cascading hazard scenarios with a six-step process. The third part will introduce how to design resilience strengthening measures that could be applied to prepare for disasters and then to respond to and recover from them. The fourth part of the course will guide you on how to implement the measures for disaster risk management in the plans and policies of your community. There are worksheet templates available on the website 
that could be used to practice and deepen your understanding. If you are a trainer of the trainers, the worksheets might be useful when organizing training workshops. Now, let's go to the next video lesson and let's start the course.